I'll be your friend, Smudge. I don't know if I've read this book. This could be a fun adventure for all of us. Smudge yawned herself awake in her new room in her new house. Stripe poked his head around the door. How many days till my birthday? asked Smudge. One less than yesterday, replied Stripe, as he did every morning. Suddenly, Smudge sat up. Then it's today, she cried, jumping out of bed. Happy birthday, smiled Stripe, handing Smudge her present. It was a beautiful box of paints. Look at all those colors, mmm. Downstairs, Smudge painted while Stripe cooked a delicious birthday breakfast. Suddenly, Smudge put down her brush, look, looking worried. Who will come to my party, she asked. I don't know anyone who lives around here. You'll soon make some friends, said Stripe. But we could have a special party this year, just you and me. Smudge tried to look pleased. Quickly, Stripe added, Perhaps we could build a treehouse to have it in. Smudge's face lit up. Look at that painting, that's beautiful. All morning, Smudge and Stripe worked hard. Smudge drew plans of the treehouse while Stripe sawed and hammered. By the afternoon, the house was built. Stripe went to find a rug for the floor. Smudge sat in the treehouse waiting for Stripe. However hard she tried, she couldn't help feeling sad that she had no friends to play with on her birthday. A tear spilled on the ground. Splosh. Then another. Splosh. Then another. Splosh. Splosh. Something moved. Suddenly, something moved below. Well, bother me, it's raining, said a voice. Smudge peered down. Two bright eyes stared back. Hello, said Hare, quickly, climbing quickly up the ladder. I'm Hare, How, who are you? Smudge, replied Smudge. What a lovely treehouse, remarked Hare. Is it yours? Yes, said Smudge, wiping her tears. Hare looked at her more closely. Why are you crying? he asked. We've just moved house, and it's my birthday, and I haven't got any friends to come to my party, Smudge said, all in a rush. Well, I'll be your friend, said Hare. And I've got some other friends you can meet too. Come on! Hello, Stripe. This is Hare. He's going to be my friend, and he's got some other friends I can have, too. Can we go and find them in my boat? asked Smudge. Of course, smiled Stripe. Why don't you ask them to come and play in your new treehouse? As they rode off, Hare spotted Goose. Upside down as usual, remarked Hare. Hey, Goose, turn downside up. Goose popped up, her mouth full of riverweed. This is Smudge, said Hare. Hello, Fudge, said Goose. Smudge, not Fudge, corrected Hare. It's her birthday, and this is her boat. She's got a treehouse, and we're all going back there to play, said Hare. Come on! Goose followed Smudge and Hare. Goose, have you seen Mole? Hare called. But before she could answer, a nose appeared from an earthy volcano on the bank. Oh, look, there he is, Hare cried. Who's that? asked Mole, blinking in the light. It's me, called Hare, and Goose, and this is Smudge. It's her birthday, and this is her boat. She's got a treehouse, and we're all going there to play. Hello, Smudge, said Mole. Oh, and happy birthday. Climb in, Mole, said Hare. Oh, no, said Mole. I'm afraid that boat is far too wobbly for me. Don't worry, said Hare. 
You can sit between us. It will still wobble here, worried Mole. I promise it will hardly wobble at all, insisted Hare. At last, Mole was persuaded to climb in and the new friends set off for the treehouse. Race you down the river, Goose, shouted Hare. They had almost reached the bank when thunk! Goose bumped into the boat and the three friends flew backwards. You're all downside up, Goose remarked. Oh, Goose, laughed Hare. You forgot to slow down. Poor Mole was wobbling like a jelly. Are you all right, Mole? asked Smudge, offering him a hand. I think so, said Mole, pushing his glasses back on. When he saw the tree house, Mole felt much better. Inside the tree house, Stripe had laid out a delicious tea. There was even, even a birthday cake in the shape of a paint box. The new friends sang happy birthday to Smudge, ate their tea, and played games until it was nearly dark. That night, Stripe tucked a very happy Smudge into bed. Did you have a nice day with your new friends? asked Stripe. But there was no answer. Smudge was fast asleep. The end.